Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Carmen, um, and I haven't done a video in a while. Today is June 21st, 2023, um, and I've done some videos on my channel, just random videos of my family. I am a 38-year-old woman. Um, I've been married for nine years. Uh, I also have a five-year-old daughter, and I just kind of wanted to do a few videos in a quick series so that I can keep these forever um, to sort of mark this journey, this part of life that's been a little ups. It's had its ups and downs, that's for sure. Um, so I'm calling this series, I guess, plus size and pregnant with twins because um, I am 38. I started this leg of this pregnancy at 222 pounds. I am 5'7", just for reference, and I have a larger frame. I have a long torso, um, and I'll be uh, putting in some video, some snippets of pictures throughout the video. I'm going to keep it less than 10 minutes because I like shorter videos, and then maybe I'll have subsequent ones that we'll call it a series. Um, but so just for some background, had my daughter at um, in on January 6, 2018. And then had her and COVID happened for a few years. And then we were going to pursue um, adoption through DIFUS or Division of Child Protection and Permanency. Um, was pursuing that, didn't go well. And then we said, well, we still want a sibling for our daughter. So we said, all right, back in December of 2022, we said, let's try naturally to have a baby. Um, <clears throat> So December, we kind of tried January, February, and we said, if this doesn't work, we'll see a fertility specialist and maybe do IVF, IUI. Let's see from there. Um, see where we're at. Um, long story short, we did the usual ovulation. We followed like the ovulation calendar. We really stick to it for a few, stuck to it for a few days while ovulating like that window. Um, come March 6th, 2023, um, I went to go have a kind of small, quick medical procedure done where they would need an x-ray. And the x-ray tech came back and said, we can't do your procedure because you're pregnant. And I was like, what? No, I, it can't be like, we've, we haven't had success. And I was taking, we were, um, checking pregnancy tests and, um, they were all negative. So I was like, Really? So I walked out of there that day, not getting the procedure done. I went to a local place that did it via urine and blood. And they confirmed and they said, yep, you're pregnant. And I said, okay, um, I must have only been like maybe four weeks, like very extremely new. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, on Wednesday, and I have a little timeline, so I'm referring to that. So forgive me, but Wednesday, March 8th, I had some light brownish pink spotting um, Thursday, March 9th, I had mucus and light pink brown spotting. Um, and then on my husband's birthday it was March 15th. We went out for dinner and I remember feeling like faint and just like, uh, we were at, um, Cracker Barrel and I was like, all right, we need to cut this short because I don't feel good. And I had some spotting. So also before having my five-year-old, I just want to preface saying that I did have a miscarriage at seven weeks. And that was just so debilitating. Um, luckily, I had my daughter after that. But any time there's a pregnancy loss, it's really debilitating and hard. And I was just like, okay. At this point, on March 15th, my husband's birthday, I was like, that's probably what's happening, right? So, you know, but it, no harm, no foul almost because I didn't even, we just had found out. So I was like, okay, I'm probably maybe five weeks, if that, or so, so new. But... Um, I then, excuse me, went to my healthcare place and I also went to the ER because I was, I had blood. Um, they said it was called a subchorional, subchorionic hemorrhage, but that there were two heartbeats. And I was like, oh, okay. That's when we found out and that there were two sacks that it was twins. Um, twins do not run in my family. Come to find out that when I talked to my husband, he has um, cousins who apparently are twins, and I think maybe a set of uncles that are twins. 
Didn't even know this, but I was just like, what are the chances? Okay, that's amazing. And what a blessing, right? Um, <clears throat> excuse me, but the hemorrhage, they were saying that that can just kind of clear up on its own or sometimes, unfortunately, it leads to pregnancy loss, which when you hear all this stuff, you're like, oh God, like you're just thinking the worst, you know, you're so new into the pregnancy, but you're like, you know, hopefully, you know, uh, things will go okay and you got to keep positive. Um, but you're, you're like cautiously optimistic. That's what I've been this entire pregnancy. Um, anywho, so I also, at that point, I did tell my work, I, you know, was not able to lift more than 20 pounds and I had to be careful with like bending over. I work at a school and I had to be careful with lifting and things like that. Um, also just fun fact on April 7th, 2023, there was a thick lining in between the two sacks. So they said it's probably fraternal twins. And I said, okay, that's good. Um, at about 11 weeks, the heartbeats were good. Thank you, God. These are all my notes that I was writing. Um, some things to notate. Uh, it says nails growing. Yeah, my nails were like super long. Um, I was cramping though, yet feeling movement, even at 11 weeks, which is weird. I was like, wow. But again, it's not my first pregnancy. So I kind of knew like what these like whoosh, whooshing feelings were. That's the baby's moving. Um, I had some blurry vision. Um, some reversions to certain foods like grilled chicken and salad. Well, I know that's like what I needed to eat probably like to be healthy and stuff, but I just wasn't having it. Some things that I loved were McDonald's steak, egg and cheese, bagels, um, bagels with like butter and cream cheese, pickles, uh, pickles. Yeah. Um, and I just want to say my first meal after giving birth, I want like a delicious Italian sub with ham, salami, provolone. That's like what I'm looking forward to or Taylor ham, egg and cheese, um, from a local deli. Who knows? Anyway, another thing coming through now this first trimester, um, on April 5th, I was 12 weeks along. I did go to the ER cause I had, um, a, 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 a migraine at that point, not even just a headache for like a couple days and it wouldn't subside. I took a sip or two of caffeine from a soda, waited, nothing. Took a sip or two of coffee, waited, nothing. Um, tried to sleep it off, but it's like I woke up three days in a row and the headache wouldn't go away. When I went to the doctor, they said the twins looked good. Um, there was nausea and constipation as well. Constipation has been an issue. I have found if I'm not strict with drinking a lot of water, like every few minutes, just drinking my water all day, or I'm not getting enough fiber or greens, then that'll do it. Um, and that sucks. <laughs> I ended up taking a few colase here and there, and that also helps things moving. So I know that though, got to really chug that water and take my greens. Um, and then, so on April, sorry, May 11th, I had to do the 13 week nuchal translucency scheduled with maternal fetal medicine, which is maternal fetal is like, um, specialists that help you along if, because for instance, I'm at an advanced maternal age, I'm 38. My BMI was high. I don't even know what it was, but I know at the time, like I said, it was 222, but I wasn't gaining a lot. Wait till I get to the second trimester video, which is next. I have gained quite a bit of weight. <clears throat> Excuse me. Also, I have gestational diabetes, high blood pressure. My daughter was born like three weeks early because my I was having like preeclampsia signs. Um, so I felt all these things. And then I didn't get amazing news at the nuchal translucency ultrasound. And I'll follow up from there in the next video. But I am going to insert some videos or pictures rather of myself throughout the first pregnancy. Um... But I haven't seen a lot of videos on YouTube for women who are A, plus size and pregnant, um, especially plus, plus size and pregnant with twins. Um, I just haven't seen a lot. I know twins are on the rarer side, obviously, or triplets, let's not even go there, but ah, it's been a ride. It's been a journey, and but it's beautiful. Every day I wake up and I'm, I realize I am blessed and this was something we're meant to be with and go through right now. So follow along if you'd like to. 
I appreciate it. Have a good day.